There are many irresponsible drivers out there that will leave the scene of a car accident. If you have been injured in a hit and run accident, it is possible to obtain an injury settlement. In this video, I'll explain the steps I would recommend one take if injured in a hit and run automobile accident to give them the best chance to obtain a settlement for a hit and run accident. So if you're involved in any type of car accident, I'd recommend you call the police, get medical treatment if you were injured, and take photographs at the scene of the accident. But specifically for a hit and run accident, if you see the other driver pulling off to leave the scene, try to memorize their license plate number. If you can snap a quick photo of their vehicle and license plate number, that would be even better. If you are unable to take a quick photo of the license plate, be sure to write down the license plate number if you happen to see it, along with the color, make, and model of the vehicle, so you don't forget this information later. Even if the other driver flees the scene, be sure to call the police and request they come to the scene so they can create a police report. Provide them with the information you have for the other vehicle, including the license plate number. You then want to do a request for the insurance information for the driver of the other vehicle. You will then want to do a request for the insurance information for the other vehicle that the at-fault driver was driving. You will need to request this information with the appropriate government office. For instance, in my state, Kentucky, I can usually get this information from the local county clerk's office or the Kentucky Department of Transportation. I've done this several times and been able to track down an at-fault hit-and-run driver's insurance information. You can then file a claim with the insurance information and possibly later obtain a settlement with that insurance company. So what happens if it comes back and the other vehicle did not have insurance or you were unable to get the license plate number of the at-fault hit and run driver? In that situation, you want to file an uninsured motorist claim with your own automobile insurance, the automobile insurance for the vehicle you occupied and or the automobile insurance company Company of any relative you reside with. Uninsured motorist insurance is a type of automobile insurance coverage in which you can file a claim for your damages if you are injured due to the carelessness of an uninsured driver. You can also file a claim for uninsured motorist benefits, however, for a hit and run accident if you are unable to track down the at-fault driver's insurance information. I've done this on several occasions for clients of mine to obtain settlements for them. Not everyone has this type of insurance coverage on their automobile, but I would recommend to anyone to make sure they have this type of insurance coverage on their automobile insurance policy to protect themselves and their loved ones if they ever need it. The thing is, simply knowing what to do after being injured in a hit and run accident can help you possibly obtain a settlement, but that alone won't get you the maximum settlement possible for your case. To get a maximum settlement in your case, there are certain strategies you can use to get the most amount possible for your settlement. And in this video here, I'll show you several tips you can use to maximize your injury claim settlement. Lastly, if you've been injured in a car accident in Kentucky, remember to don't wait, call tape. <laughs>